Hi Gemini, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. Uh, we're going to start off with a tarot reading, a traditional tarot spread here, uh, and then I'll move on to more intuitive vibe and oracle cards uh, for an extended reading. That's what I hope to do. We'll see how it turns out because there's lots of experimentation going on here and don't always get to... doesn't always work out exactly how I imagined, so we'll see. So, uh, overall for your reading, we have Seven of Swords. Oh, some sort of deception. Great. Past, present, inner landscape. What's the issue? Environment, to-do list, possible outcome. What? That's so funny. I just did a personal with, like, some similar cards in a similar position. Okay, so overall for the reading, not my favorite card, but it doesn't all have to be like the worst thing in the world. We'll see where the reading goes with this, but it's Seven of Swords. There's some sort of secrecy, uh, deception or secrecy. Uh, somebody trying to take um, something from somebody else. I mean, it's really not not the most fabulous card I've ever seen. I think in your mini reading this past week, you also got something that wasn't incredibly fabulous as well. So sorry about that, Gemini. Uh, so yeah, Seven of Swords. She's a snake, but she's dressed up as flowers. Parents are over here having a good time. They think they're keeping an eye on their eggs, but they're really not. She's taken quite a few of them. It's Seven of Swords. She's taken five of them. So this typically can talk about sneaky behavior, silent behavior, silent treatment, silent uh, something going on right under your nose, uh, but someone not wanting to discuss it. She doesn't want to open conflict. This, this snake, she, he, whatever, um, doesn't actually want open conflict. They don't, if they were to have open conflict with you, they don't, they're not sure they would win. So they may be trying to just kind of slither around you um so that they don't have to they don't have to deal openly with something this can be a wonder or maybe you are maybe you're trying to uh, get around something and not have to deal with it openly you're not sure you'd win so um so you know maybe just you're tamping it down keeping it quiet maybe you're keeping something just quiet right now you're not necessarily announcing it sharing it with everyone i mean everybody's got to eat the snake's got to eat the snake's got babies at home too so um, so in your recent past, two of swords, uh, very stubborn block headed behavior, intuitions back here, but we've turned our back to it, not speaking, not talking. It's pretty much the same here as silent treatment, not speaking, not topic talking, no communication Two is supposed to be the communication, uh, clarity, understanding swords are clarity, understanding, um, communication Two is a lot of times with most of these other than the cups, um, to, like we do one step forward with the one and then one step back with the two. So, so we might have, so in this case, we have some sort of communication, some sort of clarity came in. Whoops, we do not want to see that. We don't want to talk about it. We're shutting the door on it. We might not be ready to talk about it, which is fine. It's a denial card. You can't be in denial of something you don't, you really don't know. So some part of you saw something, know something, and in the past it's been shut down, no communication, stubbornness, uh, and it doesn't have to be bad. There are some people that um, the only answer is no contact or the only, the only way to go is no communication. You saw something, it was very clear, and you decided no communication where, or there's been no communication. So some, one of these parties might have done that, um, or it could just be you being very stubborn, um, being very um, non-communicative about something, uh, not talking about it. Maybe there might be a little niggle there about maybe you should talk about it, but you're not. Uh, current situation, four of wands. This is an engagement card, a leveling up. We've taken it for a test drive, and now we'd like to um, sign the contract, um, take out a, a loan on the car or the, um, the relationship. We've been dating for a while, and now we'd like to commit to the next level. So this is an engagement card heading up to the next level. Um, we like where we've been so far. So this, as far as a job that might be concerned, this is maybe a probationary period or an internship. It's done. We're going on to the next level. We're committing. We like where it's been so far and we're going up. So this can be promotions, actual engagements, um, that kind of thing. That's where you're, you're sitting. Uh, you may be, it was very secretive in the past, very quiet, kept it on the down low, did not talk about it. Um, 
or did not, were very stubborn about something. I feel like the Two of Swords is about blocked communication. Um, and then we have this Four of Wands here, this leveling up all of a sudden. So maybe you kept it quiet and now you're getting a, you're, you're moving up and you're moving forward. Um, what you're worried about, your hopes, your fears, your inner landscape, judgment. You might be worried that people will judge you for this. This could also be about past actions. You might be worried about past actions coming back to haunt you or coming back to, um, or you might be hopeful. Judgment is about seeing the past in a different light, a different way. Um, it's not the justice card, it's the judgment card. And sometimes those feel very connected and very similar. But this can be worried about the past coming back or hopeful that the past will come back. And, um, and you'll see something a little more clearly. You might be both, that might be something on your mind is, is some sort of past situation and wanting to, and needing or wanting to see it in a different light, a different way. Or, um, you know, judgment gives us an opportunity to go back and redo something. To go back and redo something as the person we are today, not the person we were at the time. So we might have an opportunity to look at something and see, did we do, are we happy with how we dealt with that? Or do we wish we would have done something else? Have we learned from this? Um, if, we didn't, if we didn't handle it the way we wanted to, have we learned from it? Um, so learning from your past and maybe a bit of a resolve to do better. But you may be worried about other people judging you or other people um, being unhappy with your, with your actions. Uh, what's at issue here? Queen of Swords reverse. So this is someone with a pretty sharp tongue. Someone who um, But it's reversed, so we could be talking about someone not communicating again, because swords are about communication and clarity. So this could be, this is probably a person, maybe a person that either lacks clarity or, um, or is not communicating. Uh, but there can, this can also be someone who communicates very harshly when they do. Um, it's okay, the queen in the upright is just focused. She's focused, she's clear on what she thinks, she's clear on what she wants. The queen in the reverse is, um, can, can sometimes be trying to hurt, be, be actually very vindictive or cruel um, and trying to hurt somebody and trying, it's not just that they, they just see what they want and they're communicating it as clearly as possible. It's that they're angry, they might be angry about something, they might be wanting to be hurtful. This could be why there's a secrecy here, why there's been this um, blocked communication Um, uh, this, this could also be someone not communicating. They know what they think, but they don't want to talk about it. It was like a lack of messages. Yeah, there's three cards here about no communication. This person could be really angry and not communicating. They know what they think or they, or they don't know what they think and their communication's all over the map. It's just, there's either poor communication or poor inner communication. There's, there's uh, not understanding. There could be someone here that just doesn't understand, doesn't understand what's going on. There could be someone here who's cruel with their words or there could be no communication. Seeing something but just not talking about it. Or some sort of backwards communication. Indirect, some sort of indirect communication. It's about communication, it's about messed up communication uh, or a lack of clarity. 
Uh, but we have three cards about something shut down, some no communication situation. In your, uh, in your environment, we have something new, either a new job or a new, something in your new environment, a new car, a new something, something tangible, something you can see, something you spend time and money with. It's new, it's been coming for a long time and it's new. So there's something new going on here, some sort of new project or new, new parts of, new, new reality could be, just a new reality emerging here. You may be, maybe no one's talking about it. Maybe someone around you has a new reality, but there's no discussion. Yeah, with these other two cards, there's two swords and the seven of swords. I'm going to say this is like probably non-communication. Someone here is not communicating. The birds of communication have been grounded. Uh, your to-do list, hanged man. This could be putting the brakes on some sort of momentum, pumping the brakes on a momentum because it's your to-do list. But it's a, it's a, it could be just being patient, hang out here, right? We have this like leveling up and it's a little bit like, okay, now let's hang out here. It could also be, you know, letting you know that nothing can, nothing's moving, nothing's really moving. Uh, I'm thinking about something, pondering something, Thinking about the next move or the opening when it does happen about how you want to handle it. But this can also be paused momentum, especially with all these secrets here and this non-communication. It just seems like hanging. It doesn't seem like it's wrong necessarily because you're getting hanged man. You're getting pause it, pause, putting something on pause. Something, a new reality, a leveling up, and then your job is to come in and kind of ice it. <laughs> like... Put it on ice or there's no movement here there's like not not moving quickly so no communication and no movement just just freezing this it's not like the situation's over and done we haven't completed it the hanged man isn't about some sort of completion it's about a pause and it may be even an externally forced pause but it's your to-do list so it could be pause and hang out here don't don't move faster than this um, there's something in your a new reality and it's just kind of a, there's there's either nothing to be done or this is a very clear message to don't do anything don't do anything about this situation you may be worried about something but this could be just just don't do anything just think about it think about how you got here and then we have this going on into the future two of wands so um, again this is the, this is another two here so these are about something's already begun, something you've already gotten an intuition, very clear. You already see something where you want to go, right? This next level. And this is about figuring out the details. So our wands are about inspiration, creativity, um, intuition, spirituality, all of that. And, and so, but we leave that world for a minute. We see it, we see it where we're at. We leave it for a minute and we, we contemplate it. We think about it. We think it through. And that's a lot of what I'm getting with the hanged man, the blood rushing to the head while the zipper of life is jammed here. So either you're jamming the, the zipper to think more clearly or, or to think clearly and to think about something and figure out how you got here. Or, um, or so you may be putting a stop to something right now so that you can clear your head. And this is like, keep thinking. That's what, that's what you've got ahead of you here is planning, thinking. I mean, it is kind of cute. We got this four of wands, this leveling up, and then we've got the planning for the wedding. So we had this inspired beginning and now we're starting to plan about the future. But this is definitely hang out here and plan for the future. Uh, figure out how you're gonna get from here to there. You have a dream, you have something you wanna accomplish. And there's a lot of thinking about it and figuring out how to get there from where you're at right now. So if this resonated with you, if you like this, I'm going to attempt to put this on uh, an extended video, um, hopefully in Vimeo, but I'm looking at my platform, seeing which one I can actually figure out. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, I might see you over there. I might not. Um, I hope you have a great fortnight. <laughs>